Electrification is the buzzword in the transportation space, including the aircraft industry. Like electric cars, electric planes rely on battery-generated electricity for power. But unlike cars and two-wheelers, electric aircraft face some unique challenges. Who are the leaders in electric aviation? And are any e-planes ready for takeoff? What? You may have seen electric scooters, cars, and buses, but ever heard of electric aeroplanes? Well, that could soon be a reality. Look at this aircraft in a hangar at Skelleftia Airport in northern Sweden. It's being charged so that it can take off. The small two-seater Pipistrol electric aeroplane is the first of its kind to be certified for basic flight training. It's powered by two battery packs, one in the nose and the other behind the cabin. They are charged in about 30 minutes using renewable energy from the local provider and give a range of about 50 minutes. It's believed electric aircraft could be the future of a greener aviation industry. A new pilot school, Green Flight Academy in Sweden, is pinning its hopes on the future of emission-free aviation. It is planning to offer the bulk of its classes on small electric aircraft. Instructors at the school say student pilots clock up some 200 hours of flight time during their training. So using more sustainable aircraft, could mean less environmental impact. In fact, many aviation companies around the world are working on making electric planes a reality. The world's first all-electric passenger aircraft, Alice, is preparing to take flight. Developed by Israeli company Aviation, it will have the capacity to take on board nine passengers. NASA is planning its first crewed test flight of an all-electric plane, the X-57 Maxwell Test Aircraft, in the next few months. Leading airlines like United and EasyJet are on board as early adopters. We are already seeing uh, bigger and bigger airplanes, uh, a lot of uh, development projects around the world. So perhaps this autumn uh, there will be a, even a bigger plane that is approved and in two or three years there may be planes that can carry up to 30, 40 passengers and in 10 years perhaps the full size. The plans sound promising, but the biggest obstacle for electric aviation becoming the norm in passenger jets is the battery. The battery system needs to be strong enough to lift such heavy machines off the ground. But the weight of the batteries is a major hurdle. Experts see other barriers against the widespread adoption of electric planes, such as regulatory framework. While electric aviation proponents may believe electric planes will become commonplace soon, it's safe to say large electric planes with radically new batteries may be decades away.